Hello, my name is Rohit Patel. I'm one of the EDIC physicians. Today we're going to talk about Doppler and color uh, flow on ultrasound. First of all, Doppler flow is usually used to assess velocity and regurge and uh, essentially blood flow. Um, when blood flows towards the ultrasound probe, it has a red color. When it, blood, when it flows or anything flows away from the probe, it has a blue color. So a lot usually get is you get a, a screen with a square on it. You can actually increase or move the, move the size of the square around with usually a trackpad. And usually there's a button that will increase or decrease the amount of color flow. So a lot of people don't realize that you have to actually titrate this or set this before you actually start using it in order to make sure it's accurate. One way to do it is when you, when you turn this all the way to the right, you'll see on the screen, it turns all the way to the bright, mo bright color flow everywhere and then if you go all the way to the left it'll go away. So the optimum one that you want is where you see a little bit of flow uh, showing like probably like this right here where you see a little bit of flow and that's that's the most accurate. Same thing for the Doppler when you press the Doppler if you go all the way to the right you'll see that it shows too much flow and if you don't set this properly before you may think you may think things are uh, regurge or uh, abnormal velocities when they really aren't or you may even say that there's no flow if you have this all the way down and it's not picking up the flow because you have this set all the way down. So you have to set it to where the, the flow is again showing just a little bit of, of activity. And this is useful for again cardiac. Uh, we also use it in the ED for uh, scrotal ultrasound for testicular torsion uh, and pretty much any other uh, scenario where you want to check out flow uh, either in arteries or veins. veins.